Dean, a very convincing win here at Oldershot. Uh, what's your reaction on that? Delighted with a victory. We haven't won in this division since the 4th of December. I don't want to highlight it, but we've had some good performances in between that time and not got the, the rewards um, within them fixtures. But, you know, they've been doing really well of late. Um, we knew they'd sort of sit in, so we decided to go on the front foot, play with a lot of wit. And we got after them, really, and I felt that performance in the first half, we should have led by more goals. Um, and, but look, all in all, as you said to me before the game, we 3-1, I want to snap your hands off. The, the form guys were really against us heading into this, but we really showed as a team what we could do. Form going in this division is crazy. I've been in love of this division for a long time now. And uh, you just can't predict any any fixture in it or any result within, them, within the fixture list. It's such a tough division. Um, but like I say, uh, I just think we were, our walk rate was good again, like it always is. We've been competitive, I said that to you yesterday, in, in all the games. Apart from the big, big sides, the Wrexhams, the Chesterfields, the Stockport, where there's a massive gulf. And uh, even when in them, two of them three games, we were uh, at half time, we were in the game. So the rest of the games, under myself, we've been very competitive. The, the first half is, is surely about as good as it comes. Yeah, well, the Luthers had a few more. I thought, like I said, I thought our performance deserved uh, a heavier scoreline. Um, so, yeah, so yeah, look, that's, you know, from the sort of the week we've had. And uh, we had a lot of progression on tours day, which was fantastic for everybody involved in the football club. Really positive stuff on tours day. So, um, we've only had one training session this week. You see, lads were having cramp, and I think we've had two training sessions in three weeks because we had COVID and stuff like that. So, it's been a tough time for us. So, we have to uh, really milk it and enjoy this victory. Having, having conceded earlier at South End, how important do you feel like the, the early goal was for, for us this afternoon in uh, really making a statement? Yeah, it helps force goals important, especially a team that's you know high on confidence and one that's low on confidence. Um, and the force goal was always going to be huge in this too. So Maz managed to get it. Great little poachers goal again from him. And uh, really put the game to bed with the third goal as well. I thought he was outstanding, Maz. A, a slight change in, in, uh, in the system today. What was that down to? Just personnel. No Efron. Um, no Bloomfield. Um, both injured so um, yeah just down the personnel really and, and I thought we, as well as that we thought we could affect the game the way they sit in they sit in 5-4-1 we thought we could get so especially our athletic fullbacks in Thomas and Beard thought we could uh, fly them forward as, as much as we can and they could give us width the big thing with that is well, the Beardy's had tonsillitis uh, last week he wasn't available he, he's come and played today with tonsillitis he's a warrior Beardy he's such low maintenance he's a pleasure to manage um, and uh, he, he, should be, he should be very proud of himself today. I had to mention that word, by the way. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was better. Uh, he had a fantastic afternoon, uh, Beardy, and, and he scored a fantastic goal, didn't he? Yeah, great goal at the back post, wasn't it? Great finish. It wasn't an easy one. Great cross by Greeny. Um, they weren't meant to link up that way, you know, one on the right hand side. Greeny was like Ryan Giggs out on the right hand side, crossing in, and Beardy got on the far post. And, you know, he kept his eye on the ball and caressed his volley lovely. The pace was on the ball, so Beardy just controlled the volley really well, so great finish. We spoke about Rob Paul uh, before uh, before today's game, and, and, he, and he was a real standout uh, this afternoon, wasn't he? Yeah, I think everyone stood out. Harley's been a real leader over the last couple of weeks. He stepped up. You know, you find out people's characters when the time gets tough. They're real characters, and Harley's shown a very positive and uh, energetic character within the group now. So, um, yeah, he was brilliant today. He, uh, he pressed. He won a lot of tackles. Pressed the ball really well, and he used the ball excellently as well. So. Great performance by him. He was, he was a real leader. What was it? Was it slightly uh, disappointing to, not to keep the clean sheet? Obviously, him scoring right at the end there. No, I, I was worried more worried about Harry Taylor when he went down injured uh, within that uh, phase of play. But great goal by the lad. He swept into the top corner. You got to take your hat off to that. Just tip your hat to it and say great goal. Uh, Mazza uh, came off injured. What was that down to? He's got dead leg. He's picked up a dead leg just there, just after he scored. So see how it is. Uh, see how the boys recover over the next 48 hours, and then we go again on Tuesday. Good, great to send our, our home, our, our away fans uh, happy again as well. Delighted for our supporters. Like I say, it's been a real tough couple of weeks for us. It's been a couple, tough couple of months. We've had COVID twice in the last eight weeks. It, it's been a tough time for us all. So I'm delighted they can hopefully now go home and have a glass of wine and enjoy their weekend or a beer or two. So uh, that's for them, really. We've now got a big trip uh, ahead of us to, to, to Notts County. Uh, what, what, what do you expect from that one? How, how do we take today's positives into it? It's going to be a different ball game. We won't have as much possession as we had today, um, especially in the first half when we were very dominant. They'll dominate a lot of the possession. They've got a lot of quality, um, a lot of rotations. And uh, yeah, it'll be a difficult game, but we'll think about that come Monday. Thanks for your time. Cheers.